even when one of these teams has a down year, the Battle of the Bishops always carries a certain level of excitement in Fort Wayne. And this year, each team hoping to take home the SAC crown. Let's dive into our signature matchup. Tied at 14 in the third, huge moment here for the Knights. Cohen McKenzie ready to let one rip. He launches it downfield, and Jalen White hauls it in. White behind the defense, gone for an 83-yard touchdown. Lures takes a 21-14 lead. Fourth quarter, Dwanger in position to tie it. Saints with the give to Trent Tipman, and he's in from eight yards out. We're knotted up at 21. Jumping ahead to the final minute of the game, Dwanger trying to set up a game-winning field goal, but they fumble on the third down play. Lures covers the ball. Huge turnover. The Knights will kneel from there, and we head to overtime. Saints cash in on their first possession. Tipman finds the end zone again. Extra point, good for Dwanger, and it's 28-21. Lures possession now, and the Knights get their touchdown with this plunge from Mickey Daring. And Lures not looking for any more overtime. They're going for the win with a two-point try. Daring again at the goal line, and he's in game over. Lures wins in dramatic fashion, 29 to 28. The Knights still unbeaten in the SAC. Elated for our seniors, for this team, for the grit, um, for everybody that's played Bishop Lures football. They understand that this is the date. If you, if you didn't win a game all year, this Best is the one you win. <laughs> kids, <laughs> kids like this, uh, top to bottom, uh, really proud of our senior class, our coaches, everybody. Picture perfect sunset over at Carroll, set the stage for the Chargers and Homestead. Carroll up 17 0, fourth and short for Homestead. Michael White fires over the middle to Kale Swagger, and he's got a path to the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans, that'll make it 17 6. Carroll making some moves on the ensuing kickoff. Griffin Sheely on the return. Gets some good blocking near that far sideline, and he'll take this near midfield before he's eventually pushed out. Later on in that drive, third and goal from the two. Outside run for Jawan Green. This play looks doomed, but Green able to spin out of the tackle, shedding four defenders in the process. Touchdown, Carroll. Chargers back up by three scores. And Homestead trying to put more points on the board before the half, but this time White's throw picked off on a great read by Will Jeffries. Chargers go on to win by a 41-20 final. To the annual totem pole rivalry, Northside winners in five straight in the all-time series against South, but the Archers coming off a dominant victory last week. Southside seeking win number two, but it's Northside moving the ball early in the first. Caleb Kingley carrying for a strong gain just outside the red zone area. He's followed by Camden Johnson, who turns on the Jets, maneuvering for the Legends first down. But this drive will stall thanks to a touchdown preventing penalty and this fumble. Xavier White falls on it and the south side looking to strike. Brian Eldridge out of the backfield, really patient on this run, just following his blockers for a big gain. As you just saw, there's a penalty on the play, comes back. Northside will score the game's first points on an ensuing blocked punt. Legends win it 20-6. Wayne taking it to Concordia as Jacob Sharon sweeps left off the handoff. The junior providing the generals a jolt in the second quarter. Nobody will catch him, and Sharon's not done. Next Concordia possession, the Wayne D line deflects the pass. The ball flickers into the arms of Sharon, who holds on after the hit for an INT. Generals keep coming. Antoine Pollard breaks to the outside, speeds along the sideline before a hard hit. Courtesy Carter Ritke, only slowing down Wayne for a moment. Marcus Cooper throws up a perfect pitch and catch to a rising Deontay Williams. Makes it look routine. Generals win 45 to six. And over at Spooler, the Snyder captains head out to midfield before their clash with Northrop. The Bruins moving the ball on their opening drive. QB David Callison hits Jerquaden Guilford to move the chains, and this drive does eventually stall out, though, ending with a missed field goal. No such problems for Snyder. First offensive play here, a big pickup from star running back Uriah Buchanan to move the chains. Now near the goal line, another give to Buchanan, and six quick points here for the Panthers. Snyder puts this one away early in the night. Panthers win 49-7. to 